can type 2 diabetes be reversed? Conventional medicine providers will often say that type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease, meaning that the disease will continually get worse and will be with you forever. That leaves you with very little choice in how the rest of your life goes. It's just medications and surgeries and continually worsening health. I don't know about you, but this is not the image I want for my future. Thankfully, the message is starting to shift. Even the American Diabetes Association is acknowledging that there is research supporting being able to stop or even reverse disease progression. A quick search on PubMed for publications related to reversing type 2 diabetes reveals over 6,100 publications on the topic. Many functional healthcare practitioners, like myself, would tell you that in many cases, type 2 diabetes is reversible, and thousands of people who have reversed their diabetes would tell you the same. You see, the root cause of diabetes is insulin resistance, and we can see insulin resistance disappear with proper nutritional and lifestyle approaches, sometimes very quickly. It's important to understand that poor nutrition and lifestyle habits contribute to diabetes development and progression. Following optimal nutrition and lifestyle methods can reverse this process, but only if you stick with the healthy eating and positive lifestyle habits. If you go back to eating and living the way that you were when the disease started, it will return. So today I want to address five ways that we know we can reverse type 2 diabetes if you follow the right nutrition and lifestyle strategies. Number one, addressing the root cause of diabetes, insulin resistance. We know that insulin resistance develops primarily from chronically high blood sugars and therefore chronically high insulin levels. The most effective way to repair insulin sensitivity is to reduce blood sugar levels and therefore insulin levels. Number two is finding ways to make real habits so they last. This process only works if you stick with it. So we have to find foods you love that also keep your blood sugars in line. You shouldn't feel hungry, deprived, restricted, or like you need treats. Number three, we have to customize the plan, the foods, and the process for you. We are all unique and our bodies don't react the same way to different foods, medications, exercises, and lifestyles. We have to find the perfect plan for you and your life. Number four, Research has been done primarily on three mechanisms of action. Bariatric surgery, very low calorie dieting, and low carbohydrate dieting. All three can provide normal blood glucose levels within days to weeks in people with type 2 diabetes. The differences come with the risks and the sustainability of the plan. Bariatric surgery comes with the usual surgical risks and works by essentially forcing the person to diet because they literally cannot take in much food at one time. This can lower blood sugars and insulin simply due to the quantity of food consumed. However, people often end up eating more often in order to consume adequate nutrition throughout the day. Now, depending on those food choices, This can cause blood sugar and insulin to both rise and stay elevated throughout the day without significant breaks between meals and snacks. Very low calorie dieting works in essentially the same way as bariatric surgery, only the minimal caloric intake is by choice rather than surgery. The main challenges here are hunger and lowered metabolic rate over time. This type of diet has been found to be extremely successful over the short term, but ultimately hunger wins the battle and the person will eventually eat more. This often comes with weight gain due to the slowed metabolic rate. The third plan is therapeutic carbohydrate restriction. 
the level of restriction varies from person to person based on their unique insulin sensitivity and carbohydrate intolerance. Some clients find that extremely low carbohydrate intake is required to lower blood sugar levels and repair insulin sensitivity. This may be anywhere from zero to 20 grams of carbohydrates per day. Others can find that they're still able to have up to 50 to 100 grams of carbohydrates per day, primarily from high fiber choices like vegetables. Once people adapt to this style of lower carbohydrate eating, they often find that it's very satiating, enough that they can easily stick with it over the long term. There's only a minor struggle at the beginning when changing the approach to food and letting go of breads, pasta, rice, and other refined grains. The main risk with low carbohydrate eating is for those taking diabetic medications. This nutrition plan can reverse elevations in blood sugars and insulin levels so quickly that people often become over medicated very quickly. This can also happen with very low calorie eating and post bariatric surgery as well. It is critical that you work with your prescribing physician so that they are aware of the plan and can adjust your medications as needed. And number five, the most successful clients had support, family, friends, medical providers, and supportive coaching and thorough education. This is the makings of a sustainable plan. Clients who leaned in and asked for help, seeking education, embracing technologies like continuous glucose monitors and wearable fitness trackers and online coaching have been far more successful than those who didn't. Diabetes develops over years, often decades before you ever knew it. Unraveling those lifestyle and eating habits can be difficult for many people. Make it easy. Surround yourself with support. So now that you have all of this info, what do you think? Is type 2 diabetes reversible? I say yes. You have to decide for yourself if you want to find out for you.